Hey guys, what's up? This is DJ Morgan again. Dying my hair red. I found out that this um, hair dye that I had had um, ammonia in it. And, oh, man, didn't really realize. So from now on, you know, when this red fades out, we're just going to go back to, um, you know, like doing the Glory Henna um, hair dye, cherry red. I'd rather be doing that because it has more natural ingredients. So, <clears throat> and then when the hair is done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But anyway, um, I really want to talk about something, you guys, and this is serious. <sighs> I've been thinking, and I've been listening to um, Sister Celestial. You guys probably have heard of her. Um, <clears throat> I was listening to her on this guy's channel, and a lot of things that was going through my mind was that, guys, before I get to anything else, guys, I'm just going to be honest. As much as I love my family, okay? I'm just getting sick and tired of Christians these days justifying their sins. I'm getting sick and tired of these so-called Christians that we have in America using the Bible to justify their sins, to justify their unforgiveness, to justify their backsliding. Oh, but wait a minute. Hold up. The minute the real saints of God who are trying to live holy, trying to live holy to the best of their ability, the way God literally says in his word, all of a sudden, we're the unforgiving ones. All of a sudden, we're the ones that are murderers. All of a sudden, we're the ones that are angry. Yeah, we are angry. We're angry at sin. We're angry at lukewarmness. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I'm aware that God is patient and long-suffering. Of course he is. But you know what the problem is right now, you guys? We're living in a time, I would say for a few decades, we're abusing God's grace, we're abusing His mercy. Guys, I'm gonna ask you something. What if, God forbid, if Kamala Harris gets in office, now, I don't know if this is gonna happen sooner or later, I don't know if this is gonna be rapid or it's gonna be slow. Okay, just what if, because we already got some homeless people in California lining up in certain places like crazy. We already got a bunch of illegal immigrants coming into the borders under the Joe Biden administration. Now, even though I'm hoping and I'm praying that God will put Donald Trump back in office, hopefully maybe God can have mercy on America again, you know? But at the same time, it's a good thing I can't vote right now anymore, you guys. That's a long story. I'll probably explain that in another day. But guys, if God has really had it with this country, if God is really getting fed up with our sin and getting fed up with our backsliding Christians, yeah, all my brothers and sisters in the faith, yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. If my family's watching this, yeah, I'm talking to you too. I'm talking to you. Listen up. If God has really had it with this country, and if he allow, if God allows Kamala Harris to be in office, and if God forbid, if God really starts allowing homelessness to occur all over the place like crazy, if God allows joblessness to sweep this country, and if we start seeing, God forbid, you know, and worse, if we start seeing Russian soldiers and Chinese soldiers, you guys, in our streets, if God is really gonna allow World War III to go down, you guys, and another reason that World War III is probably gonna happen to America is because if Israel gets under pressure, our soldiers are also gonna have to go to war, like I said. So guys, if God has really had it with this country, we're done, man. We're done. God has been giving us Christians of America. I'm really talking to you mostly. I'm not even talking to people that don't profess Christianity. I'm not talking about people that don't want God. I'm not talking about people that just want to be all the way on the cold side. I'm talking to those that profess Christianity. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And I'm not talking about the ones that are just babes in Christ, okay? 
and don't really know anything about God's kingdom. I'm talking about those that have probably been in the body of Christ for a long time, those that know what the word of God says, but they willingly rebel and want to do what they want to do anyway, let alone finding preachers and using Bible verses, okay, to justify their sins, like God is just cool with any and everything that we do. Like God is cool with our cussing, like God is cool with our hypocrisy, like God is cool, okay, with his people doing any kind of sin. Already knowing good and well he's not. Think about it, Christians of America. What if God really uses World War III? Homelessness, starvation, hunger, thirst. To spank us real hard. Because you know what the problem is, you guys? We keep, see, some of us, we might have started off, I'm talking about those that have been, about, been in the body of Christ for a long time. The ones that have started off good in the beginning. Started off holy and righteous in the beginning and then somewhere along the line, they started getting lukewarm. They started justifying their sins. They started justifying iniquity and sin and ungodliness and un unrighteousness in the body of Christ, but then have the nerve, okay, to point their fingers at the people outside the church. Those are the ones that I'm talking to. You guys ready for um, the Christians of America? You ready for slavery? Because what if, what if a lot of homelessness starts sweeping the nation and, job, and joblessness starts sweeping the nation and we start going hungry and thirsty and losing our homes, then what? And losing our jobs, then what? God did the same thing with ancient Israel in the Bible. Did you guys know that? God allowed Israel to go into slavery because they continued to rebel against the Most High Yah. They continued to justify their sins. They continued to abuse people, abusing women and abusing children. That's also why in the book of Isaiah, somewhere in chapter 3, where God says, okay, I'm going to have your women and your children rule over you if you want to get prideful. Because God was more angry with people that committing iniquity people by people that profess to be of God. Those are the ones that God is angry with the most. Because if God tells us to live holy and change and we don't want to do it, guess what happens? Because if, if God is having enough, guess what? Punishment is going down. God went through the same thing with ancient Israel, with the ancient Hebrews, with the ancient Jewish people. He went through the same thing with them. And now it seems like God's about to do the same with us. If I'm not mistaken, you guys, but I do have that feeling that this is probably going to be it for America. God has been giving us chances and 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 chances, okay? And we just don't want to repent of our sins. We want to continue cussing people out. We want to continue talking foul and nasty. We want to keep it up with these worldly music and worldly movies in our homes but then wonder why people around us don't want to get to know God. Well, guess what, Christians of America? What do you think? You think people are going to want to... What do you, how do you think that's going to... As a matter of fact, forget about ourselves. What do you, how do you think that's going to make God look? That's going to make God look like... a father that doesn't correct us. It's kind of funny how y'all want to out there want to talk about spanking children, right? Okay. Guess what, Christians of America? Let me ask you, why are you still remaining the same? How come you're still not changing? You want to know why? It's because of pride. Because you love your hypocrisy. You love your lukewarmness. You make all kinds of excuses to justify your sins. And then when someone that's trying to live holy, trying to tell you, hey, we need to start living holy, you immediately pass them off as unchristlike and judgmental. And you also call them un unforgiving. When in reality, the ones that are justifying their sins and tolerating iniquity in the body of Christ, those are the ones that are religious devils. The ones that don't want to hear the rebuke of God. Christians that don't want to submit to the discipline 
of God, that don't want to submit to the discipline of the Holy Spirit, if they die in their sin, those are the ones that are going to go to the lake of fire unless on earth if they repent of their sins and stop doing the things that God don't like. And then when I try to correct my family about hypocrisy and backsliding and all this other stuff, all of a sudden, 